What are some of the great things about living on campus? Uh, going, living on campus. Yeah, like, or living close to campus. Like uh, seeing friends. Yeah, you get to see friends a lot, right? Yeah. And it was a little bit selfish of me, but you were able to live right next to me, right? Right. How would you rate it on a scale of one to 10, living in the dorm? I would rate it a 10. Future is an inclusive post-secondary education program at the University of Tennessee. We are a program that gives students with intellectual and developmental disabilities the chance to experience college. We're admitting our 10th class this fall of future students and for years we had wanted the opportunity to expand their skill building to the independent living arena. Early on in the process, we enlisted the help of Becky Duncan Massey, who is our one of our local representatives to the, the state legislature. And Becky really kind of took up the cause. She had the idea that we should put together a piece of legislation that would allow you and people in the, in the future program to live in the dorms. Right. They decided to actually table the piece of legislation for the summer, but move forward with a, a pilot program. And the pilot program was specific to University of Tennessee, and it was designed to give it a try, to let some members of the future program who wanted to live on campus have the opportunity to live on campus. We had four students who participate in the on-campus housing pilot program this year. And then we had three students who lived in an off-campus apartment who we also helped as they were embarking on independent living for the first time themselves. When Ben was really little, we just assumed that he would live with us for the rest of you know, our lives. And, and we, we were always sort of prepared for that when Elise first started in the future program and we were commuting, I dropped her off at the building and wasn't sure she would even make it into the classroom on the fourth floor. Fast forward to now, she was living on campus. She could get up by herself, go to all of her classes, get all of her meals, do her laundry. It's made us realize that she can live on her own after future. I lived, uh at St. Chris condominiums, vacuumed, did my laundry, cleaned bathrooms. I did cook, and I cooked. I just put away dishes, which are very hard to do. I really like living close to the pool because I would visit my dad. My dad's a, a head swim coach at the University of Tennessee of Knoxville. She was able to learn to make meals, to get to her classes, to learn the independent living skills, but she also then had the opportunity to benefit from so much more that the university offers. And to do um, other activities like boss dance, go to Zumba, a T-Rex, get to eat a stokely, learning to go to the store, learning how to cook a teeny bit. <laughs> You can have a list of chores as a parent of anybody, but it's very different when they are living away from home and it's their, it's their own place. Having the chance for our students to live in a dorm gives them the opportunity to try their hand at so many different things that we could only really play at before this. Our life skills instructor went from the classroom to the dorm room and she and a team of peer mentors worked one-on-one -on -one every week with the students living on campus and living in the apartments to help track their goals that they set for themselves. One of the things that really amazed me when Elise moved on campus was how quickly she learned her way around the campus and was able to navigate this campus on her own. The, the way that she just owned her schedule. She knew exactly when she had to be where. She knew when she was meeting with peer mentors. I was very proud of her. And then I was very pleased with the support that was given to her while she was here. It's just a wonderful environment for her and it has allowed her to grow so much and we're very thankful for that. This experience, we set the bar very high and it has completely exceeded our expectations in so many ways. It's been amazing. It's something that we had hoped 
might happen sometime in the future. We knew she could do it, and she has just surpassed our goals. She just blossomed and took the bull by the horns and just became independent. I mean, it's something that we are so thrilled with. The growth that they imagined um, was not the growth that they saw. The growth that they saw was exponentially more. It really expanded some of the possibilities for the people in, in the program and for the, the, the program itself. I think it was a great, great step of growth for the program. It was that push to, to get the on-campus housing and that was the game changer for what, as parents, we can envision where he'll be after that. We, we wouldn't have known and we knew in our mind we needed to see what could happen just like anybody would want to see during those college years what works, what doesn't, but especially for a student with a disability it's really important because you've got to organize all the supports or know that those supports aren't needed which is mostly honestly the case. The first year of the housing pilot program went really well. I think ever since the university gave us the green light to do it, it's been a collaborative process. It wasn't just the future students gaining something from being in the dorm. What the housing staff told us is that they really gained knowledge about how to work with different types of people and that it helped make them better um, at their jobs. This upcoming year, we will have five students who are living on campus, um, and then I think about four students who are living independently in apartments. And so we have the same goals in terms of providing independent living support for them. When we think about independent living, it was such a blessing to be able to partner with Future in doing this. And it wasn't something that we as a family were gonna have to try to do down the road by ourselves. So we knew we had the future program looking over helping Elise mature into this opportunity. So it really just gives our students the opportunity to see what it's like to have this independence, have a taste, learn some skills, and just get, you know, some good footing and maybe even a jump off into living on their own, um, which a lot of our students have that goal and have had that goal for years, but now we can help them get a little bit closer to it.